Good morning, everybody. My name is Chris, and I want to welcome you to our new YouTube channel, Woodmere Estate Revival. My wife, Amber, and I recently purchased this 1960 home in West Virginia, and the home is situated on five acres just outside of town. It's a picturesque, uh, park-like setting, but unfortunately the house has fallen into a significant state of disrepair, and so we are beginning a six, eight, 12 month long project uh, to bring this place back to its former glory. So I wanted to welcome you this morning to, uh, to our channel and we will introduce you to the family members later on. I wanna walk you through the property uh, briefly this morning just to kind of show you where everything's at and uh, begin to get this project underway. There'll be a little bit of flashback uh, through this, throughout this project because part of this property was already purchased by us and has undergone some changes already. So we'll get to that later on. But let me just uh, give you a, a brief rundown on the property and what we're dealing with here. I'm standing here by the front entrance and you can see the uh, column behind me here. Uh, it says Private Drive. That uh, is where the road breaks off from the city street. And if you pan over this way, this is where uh, our Private Drive comes off of the city street. In all these woods behind me, this was actually a pond at one time, and we plan on restoring that as well. Somebody had a, a failed attempt at uh, putting a pipe through the dam to control the water level, and eventually the dam washed out and the pond disappeared. So 40 plus years ago, this pond uh, was, was a really pretty a uh, place to hang out to fish and uh, the water froze over in the winter time and the kids would come down here and ice skates it was a really neat uh, neat setting but all of that is gone so let me walk you on up the private drive here and show you a little bit more about this property and uh, what has enticed us to undergo this massive project so come along with me here so walking up the uh, private drive like i said it's a it's a really picturesque kind of park-like setting you've got these massive hemlocks that were just little tiny uh, saplings when this place was built kind of covering the road here providing some shade and some shelter as we come up on the uh, on the right here you can actually see the old earthen dam and you can see the cinder block spillway it's all covered in moss now but this gives you an idea where the dam was you can see the remains of an old arched bridge. They had a real quaint little bridge that went over the, the spillway, took you out onto the dam, and you could cross over to the other side and, and uh, walk around a little trail that they had cut there. So again, it was really pretty. Looking forward to, uh, to putting that back and restoring the, uh, the pond and, and all the surroundings. On down the road here, you can see a stone barbecue and this area at one time was called Woodmere Park. When this area was originally developed and houses were first uh, built in this area, the developer created this space down here for the use of the residents of this neighborhood. And so this was called Woodmere Park and there was a little white picket fence around the whole thing and a uh, gate. And there were benches down here next to the barbecue and the stone barbecue was for the use of the residents uh, of, the, of Woodmere as well as the pond. But at one point, uh, the developer sold off the rest of the land to the family that built this home that we're getting ready to start working on and actually sold them this, uh, the park property as well. So all of this now belongs to us and we'll be again restoring it as well. Now let's get our first look at the house. So as you can see, it's a uh, kind of a classic two-story colonial house. It's got the big two-story porch on it that uh, is common in you know, more southern plantation style architecture. We love the porch. It provides a lot of shade, uh, helps to really kind of set the house apart, give it kind of a grand appeal. Uh, you can see poking out of the top there, there's two chimneys. One is more uh, central to the house and one is on the left-hand side here uh, for the fireplace that's in the living room. And you can also see a fence that kind of extends around that way and that is actually around the pool. There's an in-ground concrete pool that was built many years ago, and so we'll get a look at that later on, give you an idea of the condition that that's in. But as you can see, the house is, has deteriorated. It's covered in vines. There's 
uh, the gutter and the fascia boards falling off the front of the porch. So we're, we've got a significant um, exterior restoration as well as interior. So let's walk on down the road here and give you a little bit better idea of how this land lays. This property was the last piece in the development that was developed. The, the gentleman who was building all these houses at the time cut a road down through here and leveled off a big place and he used this to store all his materials while he developed this road and the road up on top of the hill and several other developments uh, on down the road. So he's he was a big developer back in the 40s and 50s and 60s and uh, like I said used this property to kind of store all of his building materials. When he was done developing this area he sold this property uh, to the family that built the house and then they uh, they, they turned it into a residence. So they built the house, I believe, in 1962, and the house was uh, occupied only until recently. We just we just closed on the house last week. The interesting thing I mentioned a flashback earlier uh, about how we're going to be going back in time and talking, uh, looking at a project that was done earlier. We started working on acquiring this property. It's been more than five years ago. And this property was originally divided up into three parcels. And we were able to actually purchase one of the parcels several years ago. It had an old house on it and it was in horrible disrepair. The roof had failed and the whole place was a moldy rotten mess. So we ended up actually tearing the house down. And we do have some, some video footage of how that was done and uh, we'll, we'll get to that later on. But it was, uh, it was quite, a, quite a project. That was the first time I'd ever actually torn an entire house down. Uh, using heavy equipment so that's it, it was interesting so we'll be sure to include some of those videos later on and uh, as this project progresses but let me pause for just a minute here and kind of show you what we're looking at over the hill again this uh this terrain is, is pretty hilly pretty mountainous in this area and so you can look down here and and see uh it's a pretty steep hillside going down into uh, the creek down there but it's a broad hollow and people actually used to ride horses down through the hollow there were multiple families in this area that had barns and kept horses and would actually uh, ride up and down trails through here so we're hoping again to kind of restore the uh, forest floor down there get rid of all the old trees and stuff that have fallen clean that up and uh, put some trails back in there i don't know if we'll ever necessarily have horses but it would be great to uh, have a place to walk and uh, possibly ride mountain bikes or something else but again looking back up the road uh, you can see the how the property kind of lays there's a rise here above the above the road and then it levels off again around the property there's some massive poplars and that's one of the things that uh, one of the things that attracted us to this property there's some huge mature trees there's one right here and there was two down in front of the the main house and then there's some uh, more big poplar trees on down uh, the road here so just absolutely incredible how big some of these trees have gotten over the years Let's walk on up the road here and I'll give you a little bit better indication of where we're, where we're at in the project. So back to uh, our story about the property there. The, the property at one point was sold for taxes and we were able to acquire part of the property, that, that parcel that I mentioned, um, from the company that purchased it for taxes. We negotiated with them for probably 18 months uh, to get the price right and they finally, finally agreed. And then we had to go through the whole process to, to purchase that and tear the house down. And then we've been working with the family who was living in the big white house ever since then, trying to uh, negotiate a deal to purchase it and the remaining property. And we just closed on that last week. So huge sigh of relief. Finally uh, pulled this whole deal together and are getting this project underway. So it's a, it's an exciting moment for us. It's been years in the making and we can't wait to, uh, to make this place just really glorious again. Okay, so now we're approaching the house seat. This was where the other, this is the other parcel that we purchased already. And you can see the, the remnants of a driveway and a slab foundation where that old house was. And again, by the time that we actually closed on the house, there was no saving it. It was a really interesting little a two-story or story and a half bungalow had shed roofs on it uh, wood shakes I mean it was kind of a neat neat little place I'm sure it was quite uh, quaint when it was new but by the time we got to it it had uh, like I said deteriorated mightily 
and there was no saving it, we had to had to demolish it. So that had a lot of fun with heavy equipment there. That uh, shed was uh, the garden shed. This this place was impeccably manicured at one point, and so they had a garden shed. Uh, tons of clay pots and potting materials were uh, all through the shed there. We're actually turning that into a playhouse for our boys. Uh, the boys, Grant and Reed, are 10 and 6, respectively, and they are excited to have a playhouse. So it's going to be a, like a story and a half playhouse. There'll be a treehouse section come off the back of it. So you can see I'm putting a new roof on it right now, getting it, uh, getting it dry and, and safe for them to use. There was a pond right over here, but we ended up uh, you know, tearing that out because it was a safety hazard. It was, it was old and full of vines and muck. We didn't want one of the kids falling in it and uh, getting hurt. And then across uh, over here, across the creek, uh, beyond our property line, there's a big field there. And a friend of ours actually owns that property now, and they're going to be uh, bush hogging out the property. Uh, that was a horse pasture. I mentioned you know, several people had horses up and down this hollow. So that was a horse pasture at one time, and the gentleman that owns it now is going to restore it. And so clean it all up and, and uh, seed it again and uh, put a little barn there again. And good place for the kids to play pick up football and, and uh, possibly even keep a few animals around. So where I'm standing right now on the old driveway is going to be the site for our three-car detached garage. I'm all the time monkeying around with uh, cars and trucks and lawnmowers and tractors, you name it. I mean, we're all, always uh, doing some sort of project with mechanics. And so it's uh, this is going to provide me a spot to keep those projects and to work on things without having to take up our garage which we haven't been able to park in for, oh, I don't know, years. So Amber is really looking forward to having a place to park. She's, uh, she's excited about that. The three-car attached garage that's going to be on the, the White House is going to be uh, for parking only, and all projects will be done down here. So it's, uh, she's excited about that, and I'm excited about building the garage here. So let me take you on up the road here. So now we're going up the uh, driveway to the main house. And this house that we, we tore down, it was kind of a guest house or a guest cottage. Uh, I believe one of the family members lived here for a while and, and stayed in this house. They had a penchant for uh, kind of old world art. Uh, they love statues and uh, there are the, these statues are the Four Seasons. My wife and I aren't really into statuary, so we'll be uh, selling those to help fund the, the project. See a little bench here on the knoll. This has been a great place for us. We call this our thinking bench. You know, this is where we come to dream about this project and talk about one of these days when we're able to buy the White House. Well, <laughs> those days are here now, but that's still our thinking spot. My wife and I like to sit there and, and uh, talk about life and, you know, really just soak all of God's majesty in here. I mean, it's just a, just such a beautiful spot. We love to sit here and soak up the sun and, and uh, talk. So it's a Gonna be a fun place for us. So walking on up the road here, as you can see, we're gonna have to do some repaving. But on up the road here past the Four Seasons, we'll come to the main house. And all of this was paved, blacktop at one point. It was, again, impeccably manicured, stone walls everywhere. These trees we had to cut way back to start getting the dumpsters in and out of here because the Dumpster guys would not be happy with us if we were making them drive through the forest. Again, uh, you got some brick columns here. And this is right where, about where plot two ended. So the first piece of property that we bought ended right about here, and then the other end was up there at uh, the fence line of the other of my buddy's property. So it was a pretty good sized chunk of property and laid really nice here. We could have done something with this, but again, the ultimate end goal was to you know, get the entire property and then redo the whole thing. And that's that's where we're at right now. So it's exciting. Uh, we're looking forward to having this YouTube channel. We've never done this before, so we're uh, obviously YouTube noobs. But uh, hang around with us. It's going to be a it's going to be an interesting project. Again, on uh, Woodmere Estate Revival. Uh, we're trying to make this place grand again and and beautiful. So hope you'll hope you'll stick with us and. Uh, continue to watch us. I'll do, a, I'll do another update uh, very soon with the inside of the property so you can now get a start, get an idea of where we're starting uh, with all of the home renovations and all the, uh, the remodeling there. So hang tight. Great to have you on board and uh, look forward to going through this project with you. Thanks.